Hey y'all, and welcome to another channel update video. Uh, sorry to have another one so soon after the last one, but uh, this is a pretty important one. After about a month of testing the trial schedule, plus reading all of your awesome, awesome responses on the survey, oh my gosh, I am so glad I made that thing because it has been just the most helpful thing to me in the world. Um, I think I have now enough data and working experience to set down a solid official schedule for the channel going forward. Hooray! Yay! Uh, click here to skip forward to the actual schedule if you don't want to hear the reasoning behind it, but if you do want to hear that, all that like n nitty gritty of the why and whatnot, uh, stick around. So uh, like I said before, the previous schedule was tentative. It was never going to be the final schedule unless it somehow went swimmingly, swimmingly well, which um, obviously it didn't. Um, because there were two major problems with it. First, I severely underestimated the amount of time, work, and mental energy it takes to create a direct request episode. I figured the reason it had taken so long to create the first couple of episodes was because I lacked time during school. Surely, surely, I thought. Surely I can crank out an episode a week now that I have more time on my hands. Right? Right? Ah, uh, no. It really is that intensive to make, and I am honestly kind of impressed that I made two videos during school as it is now. To give you an idea, here's a quick look at the notes for the upcoming episode on the killing. That's just the research part. <sighs> you can imagine how long the rest takes. So yeah, it's a bit of a thing. And trying to get it all done in a week, even two weeks, has proven draining and unrealistic, to say the least. Especially when I'm also working and doing other videos. So, I don't know, story might be different if I were making videos as my full-time job, but there you go. Second big problem, I let myself have way too little dedicated free time. Uh, the work needed for direct request was a part of this, but also I just let video work in general seep into way too much of my week. And it is work. Video work is work, fun as it is to do sometimes. I think I like to pretend that it isn't work because it is better than a lot of actual jobs, uh, but, it, uh, but I let myself go for so long sometimes that I forget and like, deny to myself just how mentally draining it actually is. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, combine near-constant video work with the needs of actual work work, and you can imagine what that would do to a person, how quickly they start to burn out, basically. Um, I did set aside a couple of free time blocks for myself in the schedule, but all but one of them had, like, little caveats next to them. Like, free time! Or you could work some more on this thing if you have time. Or one was, today you work on this thing, and then have free time if there's time afterward. And there was almost never an afterward. The intent on doing it that way was basically to give myself flexibility so that if I needed extra time to work on a video, I could have it. Or I could take a day off and have a break if I needed that instead. The reality of the situation ended up being that I almost always felt extremely guilty for taking the free time option when I felt like I could have been working instead. Guilt is not a thing that you want to build up in your system, kids. It, uh, it twists you up real bad inside if you let it. It's not healthy. Not healthy for the brains. Not at all. So yeah, long story short, some things about the tentative schedule worked. Like, wildcard day, that was brilliant, that works wonderfully, so we're gonna keep that. Um, but overall, the schedule just made me into a giant ball of stress and guilt, which is not fun. So, taking that into account, and also your responses from the survey, again, uh, I've decided to slightly lessen the scope of my weekly output in order to, one, maintain my sanity, and two, to give you guys a more realistic idea of what you can expect from the channel week to week. Basically, not promise you more than I can give you. So here is the new, official Aaron Cerise channel schedule from now going forward. Sunday and Monday, no videos. Tuesday, wildcard day. There will almost always be some kind of content on this day, 
but what kind will be a surprise? Some stuff you can look forward to will include more Love Live videos, top 10 lists, quick and dirty movie reviews, product openings, one-off video essays, one-off Let's Plays, and sometimes written content over on AaronCerise.com. Wednesday, no video. Thursday, Nuzlocke Day! Pretty self-explanatory. Yay, pogeymans. Although, I will say this. Any of you love livers out there, you might want to start peeking in on this day as well, starting in about, oh, say, mid-April. Can't say why just yet, but, oh, you know. Just saying. That's all. Just saying. Friday, no video. Saturday, the Saturday, Saturday Subscriber Stream Spectacular! Survey says you guys want showdown battles, and I've experimented the past couple weeks with uploading subscriber showdown videos. Those have been super fun to do, amazing fun, I'm so glad I've been able to do that. Um, but they have not been as super popular as just standalone videos on the channel, unfortunately. Uh, plus, doing those videos makes for yet another series I have to edit if I want to keep doing them, and that's not going to do well for my stress levels, so yeah. But you know what's something else that a lot of people wanted on the survey? Live streams! So I figure, why not kill two birds with one stone? So on most Saturdays from now on, I will stream in the afternoon or evening on twitch.com slash and I'll be showing mostly showdown battles, either with randos or with you guys, depending on who's around. Um, but I may also do stuff like the continuation of the Rocket Lock, or random video games I've been playing at the moment, or basically anything I can get away with showing. Streams will be about one to three hours long, depending on how much time I've got on a given Saturday. Like, my Saturdays are not always totally free, like I might get called into work, or I might have to do something for my neighborhood, like I do actually have neighborhood commitments as well. Um, so yeah, keep an eye on my Twitter, which is twitter.com slash and you'll see announcements for what time the streams will be at on the Saturday and how long they'll be going for. So yeah, there's that. And lastly, direct request. This series will not have a specific release schedule, but rather it's going to float around basically with a general frequency of one to two episodes per month. Episodes will be released on basically whatever days they're finished, so whether there'd normally be content on a given day or not, make sure you keep your eyes peeled on your sub box, because you may see an episode of Director Quest when you least expect one. <sighs> okay. So you may notice there is one thing gone from the schedule, and that is the Spyro Pacifist Challenge. Although I got a few very supportive comments in the most recent episodes saying it was okay to continue playing despite losing all of my lives, um, I've decided that because I needed to free up a day anyway, and because the series was not getting enough views to justify keeping it going, really, at least not as a weekly thing, I am going to call that series done, at least for now. It's entirely possible I may come back to it and start uploading episodes on wildcard day sometimes, but that would be intermittent at best, still. Um, so for now, at least, I'm just gonna let that series be. Uh, we'll call the challenge finished for now. Um, and I'm gonna regain some focus on my core content and free up my Sundays for some much-needed guilt-free relaxation. Oh my gosh. Alright, that should be all then. Official schedule, 100% non-tentative. It's gonna be a fun time, hopefully gonna be a less stressful time. Definitely looking forward to it, and I will see you guys in the next video. Later!